Jake. Well, conversations about police pursuits are continuing after USPS employed Brad Pennington was killed Thursday when a police pursuit that began in Pearl ended in South Jackson when police say a vehicle driven by 20-year-old driver Brandon Andrews crashed into the postal vehicle. Now Andrews was being pursued by Pearl law enforcement who say he was speeding on I-20 westbound and would not pull over. Since then, Jackson Councilman Kenneth Stokes has reiterated his position of halting all police chases to avoid these types of fatalities. However, the mayor of Pearl, Jake Wyndham, says his officers are not responsible for the death, but instead Andrews should be held accountable. We had a chance to speak with a few members of the Jackson community to get their opinions. Take a listen. Uh, it's kind of crazy on both parts, but from Prairie to Jackson, that's, that's, that's too far for a traffic violation. You know, uh, all we can do is just stay prayed up, stay out the way, man. Just pray to the good Lord. Both of them are at fault, but I really put the blame on Pearl Police because they have been doing police chases in different um, dis you know, different districts coming into Jackson. So Kenneth Stokes been um, trying to crack down on that chase anyway and for it to be just a minor violation and somebody had to lead a, lose their life, that's crazy. So how about we just stop the police chases into other cities? We don't care too many people running from Jackson in the world. Because he could have stopped and they realized that it wasn't only a, tra a traffic violation, they could have took more precautions themselves. You know what I'm saying? He could have stopped. If, it, if you done done something wrong, it's time to start owning up to it. Being so divisive and just own up to it. Stop. Now he took somebody's life for no reason.